Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the PGL and we are going up against Chase Crimson Seabad and uh, this is going to be a really fun match. He has a really interesting team and I'm still trying to feel my team out. I'm not too too sure quite how I feel about my team yet, but um, I built as best we could. We're coming off a very interesting week one that we just played a couple hours ago and uh, this team as well. I built this team relatively quickly and uh, we're going to just see how it goes. So we see Blacephalon, Regirock, Gligar, Tangrowth, Mega Mawile, and Diggersby. So no Galvantula straight off the bat, no Hariyama, no Latios, no Quillfish. No Quillfish is kind of nuts. Um, no Sneasel, which is also pretty wild. And uh, so that means my superior should naturally outspeed his entire team. Uh, but what else? What else? What else? That looks to be just about it. I'm really surprised by no Quillfish, and honestly, Quillfish um, was a big issue for my team. I guess with the Victini, it was a little bit awkward, but okay, regardless, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. Hmm, I kind of just want to lead off with... I mean, part of me just wants to lead off with the Superior. I wouldn't mind leading off Superior. I wouldn't mind... Hmm... I have no idea what I want to do. I might... I'll lead off with... I'll lead off with my... Victini, I suppose. It's as good a lead as any. Um, it's not going to be the same type of pivot lead that I had during week one where it was Scarfed with U-Turn and it was uh, Max Attack Adamant, but um, this one doesn't even have U-Turn, I don't think. Uh, I'd have to remind myself, but it should be able to handle whatever wants to lead it. Oh, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Leads off with the Diggers B. So I would not be surprised if this thing wants to... Man, would this thing want a Swords Dance? Turn one. I struggled with this Victini, right? So this Victini is, um, Cassie Berry. I almost went with, um, whichever one is for Cobra Berry, um, but I could have also done Shucka Berry. I struggled quite a bit with this. Um, I also don't have, I also don't have, and this thing could agility in my face as well. Let me see. All right, Diggersby. This is a reasonably physically defensive Victini. Well, it, it, has a, it, it has a tiny bit of physical defense. I do invest a decent amount of speed, which is unfortunate, but um, I do outspeed any type of non-scarfed Diggersby. Um, let's see. Yeah, Earthquake destroys me. I have to switch out. I'm gonna go into a Raquinade. I feel like I have to. If this thing goes for Swords Dance or Agility, I mean... I'm just in a bad spot. I don't know what to say, but... If it's Double Dance, the fact that he's thinking about this. He does withdraw, so that's interesting. Uh, I don't know what this is at all. Goes into the Regirock, okay. I will get a pretty darn free liquidation off. I didn't. Mm, I always. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to take a screenshot of the team. I could take a screenshot of the bottom screen, but it helps me out so much to see um, both of our teams side by side. And unfortunately, I only have his team. But yeah, liquidation is incredibly free. He can go into the tank road, but. Um, I don't think I would mind that at all. I could go for the longer run and go for Sticky Web. That would ensure that my um, Specs uh, Superior outspeeds his entire team, but Gligar goes for a straight up Stone Edge. Uh, we take it okay, and we do get a Liquidation off. But uh, the... Threat of webs later in the match um, is too tempting, and I think I have to switch out. I'm going to go into my Sandslash and attempt to get a Brox now, I suppose. 
I suppose that's as good a play as any right now. But that is a lot of damage for Regirock. Stone Edge, Stone Edge, Stone Edge. Um... Also, this thing... Mm, I don't know. Yeah, Stone Edge shouldn't have done that much. This thing is an offensive Regirock, I'm pretty positive. To do that much against my Arachnid, it could be banded for all I know. Regardless... Uh, the correct play is always to get up rocks. You could go directly into the, um, Gligar, but, uh, even just getting off... Does get an Intimidate off. Uh, even at minus one, I can get a big EQ off. And I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. No matter what, um, just just damage on this thing. Uh, the fact that I have rocks up now, and um, any damage on this thing can help me revenge this thing later on. And uh, I'm not too concerned about Mawile. I don't think I should be. I don't think I should be. It could try to sword dance up on me, which would be super unfortunate, but um Even at minus one, EQ I guess we'll see if this thing is defensively invested, but EQ should do about 50 to 60%. It does go for the play rough. So this is a decently fast um Mawile as well. And it's at least decently defensively invested. Um, maybe he put enough speed in a Mawile to outspeed Sandslash. Uh, Mega Mawile is uh, naturally base 50. Sandslash is naturally base 65. I Yeah, I definitely don't mind just clicking EQ again. We have enough defensive investment where... Um... Okay, this thing definitely isn't adamant. Could it be Jolly? Because it did just under half. Yeah, no, this thing isn't even fully phys um, uh, offensively invested. I'm going to assume for the time being, because of that play rough damage, that this thing might have like 100 attack EV, something to that effect. Uh, it does go for a crunch. Maybe expect me to switch out. I do get a defense drop. Which is unfortunate, but uh, another EQ. Bring this thing super low, and the defense drop is unfortunate. I don't know if I want to make a play here. I don't know if it's worth it to make a play here. I don't know if it's worth it. The play is probably just to let this thing go down, right? If I let this Sand Slash go down... The Sand Slash doesn't do anything at all for me in this game. The only thing I could possibly do is get a surprise knockoff off on maybe, like, um... Gligar late in the game, but but everything outspeeds my, my Sand Slash, so... I could let this thing go down, and knowing how, uh, that this thing is not terribly attack invested means that Sucker Punch is not going to do as much to my superior. Which, again, outspeeds the entire team. I get to plus two for free. And I am Specs, which he's not going to know. So if I'm at plus two and Specs against Blacephalon... Then plus two Specs should Oko a Blacephalon. An uninvestable Blacephalon. Uh, tank growth is going to be an issue. If if I'm at plus two against an AV tank growth, uh, then I'm then I'm doing then it's a two hit KO. I'm doing over I'm doing around half, and I'm going to get to plus four. It's an interesting turn. I 
the safest possible play would be to go into um would be to go into my Altaria, and I think I'm gonna take that. I think I'm gonna take the safest possible play right now. Because what I'm gonna be able to do is click Mega Evolve. And I can click return. Yeah, he's gonna stay in. He's not gonna try to save this mall while. And um As much as I wanna go in with Superior right now, I guess I guess I part of me just doesn't feel comfortable doing it until I mean definitely if I get webs up then I can go in with Superior, but um I just want a little bit of damage on his team. In particular, I suppose the Gligar. The Gligar is going to be um, a bit of an issue for me. I don't know. Superior, I think, has a good matchup if I can make it work, but I just want to make it work. What else could I reasonably do? Um, it, that also frees up my... My... Um, Victini quite a bit. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Because that thing's down, my Victini, um, I definitely don't need, would need the Cobra Berry against the, um, the Mawa Sucker Punch. Um, unfortunately, um, I can get knocked off by, by the Gligar, which is unfortunate, but that is what it is. But the bigger thing is that I do have the Kasi Berry to be able to take a Shadow Ball from the Blacephalon, and with Rocks up, after Rocks, um, I should be able to handle the... Is this the Tangrowth? Okay. I think he thinks that he can take these um, physical hits, but I do have Flamethrower on my... on my... Interesting. Okay, so if this is an Assault Vested Tangrowth, I mean, with, with a whole bunch of Special Defense investment, then Return actually does more than Flamethrower. So I guess I can gauge damage. I'm gonna click Flamethrower. And you get a flamethrower off. And that's definitely assault vested. Hit sludge bomb. <sighs> Does get the poison. Okay. Okay. Will in fact get the poison. So that's not great. This thing still has value. If it gets a Dragon Dance up, it still has a ton of value. Is there anything I would want to switch into a Sludge Bomb? Let me see what kind of damage Vic I should expect from Victini. Um, Victini Blue Flare does a very decent amount. Uh, at that point, he does have the free switch into possibly Regirock, more likely Gligar. But I'm doing decent damage to Gligar regardless, so maybe that's a, a move that's worth making. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Very unfortunately, I am a negative special defense nature, just so that flamethrower can do just a little bit more damage. He does switch out, so he did expect me to switch out, and does go back into this thing. But especially after rocks, I believe Grass Knot, this is exactly why I have the Grass Knot. I believe, especially if this is an, is, especially if this is an offensive Reggie Rock, yeah, Grass Knot should just about do it. I don't know if he's going to expect the Grass Knot, uh, stays in against the Grass Knot. And I don't see... Yeah, that just straight takes it out. Fair enough. Um, still have not revealed an item on my Victini, which means he could possibly go into the Blacephalon. Um, if he doesn't go into the Diggers Bee, that would pretty much reveal that the Diggers Bee is not uh, Scarfed, which would be great for my uh, endgame in general. But um, just me, I'm thinking right now that uh, his... Lay would be to go into the Blacephalon. Unless he wants to try... Unless he wants to try to go into the Gligar, but at that point he's, um... Risking Glaciate on my set, which I don't have Glaciate, but I could have Glaciate. 
Um, the fact that he's thinking about this... Uh, yeah, okay. This thing is very, very likely scarfed. Which is bad. It's bad. I think that means that I sack off... My Altaria. Let me see something. So... Diggersby. Does Araquanid take an Earthquake? I don't. I just barely don't. If this thing is adamant. If this thing is banded adamant. But is it banded adamant? If it's if it's scarf instead of band? If it's scarf instead of band, then I think I take. Um my Araquanid is at 69 HP. And Adamant Diggersby does a max of 52 HP. So if I sack off my Altaria, then I can bring in the Araquanid, I can scare this Diggersby out if it's scarfed. I can get sticky webs up, and that would really do a lot for me. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I am potentially bluffing a band or maybe something like that. Um, does go for the return. Okay, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. If this thing is going for return... Does Scarf Return beat me? Does Superior take a Scarf Return? I do. I do. How is my Victini taking a return? I'm going to go into... Yeah. I'm going to go into this thing. If I could just find a moment where I can get webs up, then... I'm in such a good position. This does invite in the Tangrowth. I could click Toxic right now. I could click Toxic right now. Is that something I would want to do? Also, would I assume dual scarfers with between the Blissephalon and the Diggersby? Probably. I think that that might be the play in team building against me. I kind of want to get Specs Toxic off. If I do that, then I can go back into Victini. I can do something. I'm gonna click Toxic. I'm clicking Toxic. Does withdraw? Do we see the Tangrowth? Yes, okay. That was stressful. I was stressed. Very stressed. Now I think that allows me to go into my... My... Victini. And this would be the perfect time for, um... This would be the perfect time for U-turn on Victini, because if I was able to U-turn out, if I was able to U-turn out and freely go into, um, get a free switch into my Araquanid, then I think webs are relatively free. But as it stands right now, I don't quite feel comfortable doing it, and he does get another poison. He does get another poison. So here's the other thing, right? He does... He could very freely switch into... Flygar. He could very freely switch into... Uh... Diggersby again. I can Will-O-Wisp right now. He probably doesn't stay in, right? If Tangrowth is Assault Vested... Yeah, Blue Flare does more than enough damage, but what am I doing to a Diggersby? If Diggersby switches in here, Blue Flare does a bunch of damage.
I really want a Will-O-Wisp, assuming that the Diggers Bees are going to come in. Is there a downside? I mean, I don't think he can do much to me. I feel like there's no way that this tank growth would stay in. Whatever comes out, if the Blacephalon comes in, then I can take it with the Sea Berry. I can take a hit with the Sea Berry. If the Digger Speed comes in, then I want to burn it. If the Gligar comes in, then I want to burn it. Um, I'm, you know what? We're here. We're clicking Will O Wisp. We're clicking it. Wow. Alright. Man. That's wild. That's wild. Superior against... With specs... Actually, no. No, 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 no. The play always has to be to go into into this thing. And try to get webs up. I do really want to get a reflect up just for the diggers bee. But I'm trying to consider whether or not that's worth it. I'm going to click webs. If he goes straight into the diggers bee, that would be really bad. Goes into this thing. Okay. Okay. Lacephalon. Assuming a Scarf Lacephalon. Um... Actually, I think I take a Shadow Ball. Max attack, Timid Shadow Ball. There's a max of 73 points. I think I take a max attack... A max special attack, Timid Shadow Ball. I don't take a Modest one, which is bad. I don't take a Modest one. So what does that mean for me? I click Liquidation. Z move. Inferno Overdrive. Okay, definitely don't take that. What does that mean for me next turn? It means it's not... It means that it's not Scarfed, which means Diggersby is probably... Diggersby is almost definitely Scarfed. For for but that also means that no matter what, it gets O-Code by... Oh, we do take it because of Water Bubble. And... Wow, okay. Um... That's wild. I have zero special defense invested. It's just water bubble. It's just straight up water bubble doing this thing. Um, so let me see. Z, Z Flamethrower? Yeah, that had to be Z Flamethrower in order for that roll to work out. If he had Z Mind Blown, Z Fire Blast, then, uh, I don't take that. Literally, the only way that I take that is if it was Z Flamethrower from a Timid Max Special Attack uh, plus Epilon. Does go into this thing. But... I click Liquidation. There's no reason not to click Liquidation. I should have clicked re uh, Reflect. I really should have. But there's no reason to switch out, I don't think. Um, Reflect might have been a better play, but... I don't know, if it misses Stone Age, if it misses Return, I don't know. <laughs> um, that that sweet hustle, uh, Digby's being. But no, regardless, I get taken out. Um, I'm amazed... Yeah, why do you not go into Gligar and, like, U-turn or, or knock off or something like that? I feel like that would be the better play, because now what this does is this allows my Superior to come in and get to plus two for absolutely free. And then Superior has to be in a position where Superior at plus two does go for U-turn.
Um, Tangrowth. Specs Leaf Storm does 20% to a Tangrowth. But it does go into it. I think that means that I have to go into... This means that I have to go into my Jolteon. Quick Feet does not pop, but um, HP Ice... Doesn't do quite enough. And I can't Volt Switch out because of the chance of... The chance of, like, knockoff, if anything. I have to click HP Ice. Actually, no. The fact that this thing is toxic means that, um... Jolteon HP Ice. If, I, if I'm able to spam HP Ice, then I win the match. Um... Actually, if this thing clicks knockoff, okay, good. If because honestly, if this thing clicks knockoff and knockoffs my flame orb, then I kind of lose because I can't beat the well, I can beat the Diggersby, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. Now that I can, now that I can freely HP ice against the Diggersby, uh, I'm in a this Jolteon is in a fantastic position to win. If he had clicked knockoff there, then Diggersby can legitimately win him this match still. But I think the fact that he didn't click knockoff and I did and uh, my flame war popped, I think that might put me in the position to win because now I can see what's that? What's that on Gligar? Gligar. I think that might put me in the position to win. Yeah. I I could be wrong. I could 100% be wrong. If I'm wrong, then I mean, what else is new, right? But um I believe that this puts me in a in a bit of a checkmate position. With draws, which is interesting. I don't know. Does he have enough to, is he able to take two? I don't think I have to rocks. He takes two. I had literally zero play to make other than to just click HP Ice. Oh, he did that for the Regenerator. He did that for the Regenerator. But my only play is to spam HP Ice. So now he can go into Tangrowth. He's trying to win a Tangrowth, I think. So if he goes into Tangrowth, right, then he can switch out for the Regenerator again. Um, he can switch out for the Regenerator again. He can... It puts me in a position where I have to beat... He's trying to put me in a position where my Superior and my and, and Tangrowth are 1v1 against each other. Um, I am Specs. I have HP Fire, but Superior at neutral, at neutral Special Attack is absolute ass. Um, so... He could win in that situation. Um, but honestly, I don't even know if I win with Diggersby. If I beat the Diggersby here. Wallbreaker Diggersby. Also, if I don't take out this Diggersby right now, then... Uh, oh, this could be Quick Attack as well. No, I, sh I should take a Quick Attack. I should. Actually, Quick Attack is a roll. Quick Attack is a roll. If I'm at 101 HP, Adamant, oh, this is Adamant Band. Yeah, I should take a quick attack fine. I should take a quick attack perfectly fine. Uh, and HP Ice is only doing about half. HP Ice is only doing about half. But I don't think the Tangrowth is healthy enough to 1v1 against my superior. Because, this is the thing, right? I'm going to be able to get in my superior for free after, I, after my Jolteon gets taken out right now. Which means that I'm gonna, by the time the tank growth comes in, I'm gonna be at at least plus two because I can get a free leaf storm off on this diggers beam. Unless I miss, I could 100% just straight up miss and uh, pretty much lose this game. But the fact that hidden power is not going to take out this diggers bee, but um, 
this allows my superior to come in means that I'm going to get to plus two by the time the Tangra comes in, at the very least. And then the Tangrowth has to beat me at plus two, except for the fact that uh, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to spam Leaf Storm into the Tangrowth, which is going to be dubious. I am Specs into Leaf Storm. I am Specs into Leaf Storm, but I am a plus two. Uh, Leaf Storm should do 40 to 50 percent ish, ish. Um, so I'm going to have to take a Sludge Bomb. If Sludge Bomb can Oko me from pull, if Sludge Bomb can Oko me, then he wins. But by the looks of this, I don't think a, even a crit sludge bomb should KO me. I'm just going to click Leaf Storm. And I'm going to hope for the best. We do land it, thankfully. And we do end up winning this game. It's going to be another 1-0 victory. And it comes down to the final two Pokemon being my Superior and my Jolteon. That was a very fantastic game. Um, hopefully... I can end up winning some matches that are not this close, that are not uh, just coming down to my Jolteon and my Superior just winning these matches for me, but uh, we pull it out regardless. Uh, it's going to be a really, really fun match. Thank you guys for so much for and uh, thank you so much to Chase. This was a really fun match. Oh, fun fact. Uh, Chase actually wanted to uh, trade Superior for Tangrowth before the season started, and I had to keep Sur uh, Superior... Sorry. He wanted to trade Superior for Tangrowth before the season started, but I had to keep Superior. I felt like Superior was going to be a huge piece that kept my entire team together, and um, it really did turn out to be true. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.